it's painful and it's hard to be expected to continue to focus with work as if this is it happening, you know, to us. What's up, Flourishing fam? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to Flourish with Dolores, where I teach you how to embrace your journey and remember that flourishing is about progress and not perfection, honey. In today's video, I'm taking you along the ride of a day in life with me. So you're gonna work with me and we have a ton of stuff going on in the house. So you'll see how I'm gonna balance all of that. So we have our tree getting cut, we have furniture being delivered, and we have a sub pump and I forgot what the other thing is called I'll put on the screen being installed in our basement. Meanwhile, I got a full work day to do. So join me today um, and let's just get started. Cheers. So basically um, when we moved, this is like tea time with me before I start my work day. But when we moved here, we saw the tree and we were like, oh my God, this is like basically covering our beautiful home. And I had this huge fear that like, it's gonna fall on our house you know god forbid knock on wood but i'll insert pictures you can see how it's like lifting up the sidewalk so it's a strong tree and also if someone was walking on the sidewalk and tripped over some of those like pieces we would be liable because that's our sidewalk so when they take down the tree at some point we are gonna pave the side that part of the sidewalk so it's more smooth and you can't trip but I'm telling y'all, home ownership is like a whole ride. Um, but I'm so excited, so it was easy. We called the town, confirmed that it was, it was in fact the town's tree, and then they sent us paperwork. We filled out the paperwork. We had to pay $150, so it's a free service, but we had to pay $150 um, as like a fee related to them not being able to replant something in its place. So it's free if they can plant something in its place, and you have to pay if they can't weird comment below if you know why that is i don't know but let's go upstairs and start the work day all right so today for work um i have i have a planning day that's like gonna last two hours um so that's gonna be from 11 to 1. um i need to make phone calls for students or two students who aren't registered yet um so classes start in like two weeks so i need to be like what's up why are you not registered what's going on how can i help you get registered um so that's gonna really take up a majority of my work day because i have like about 52 students to call or follow up with and then the usual emails i'm not really gonna do any other project today other than that because between the planning day and calling students that's it um and then so that's my work day and then flourish with dolores day I need to get back to Rashid, my editor, um, about a video coming out on, uh, I don't even know, I think Saturday. I'm thinking about uploading two days a week um, just to help with the YouTube algorithm, get my videos out there more. So I need to follow up with Rashid. I need to, oh, you guys want to see, bring you closer. I need to follow up. Um, on some emails, uh, especially with some folks that I'm collaborating with. Um, so that's gonna be good. And then I need to do some, I'm basically, I'm gonna be recording a video today. So I need to record and do research for that recording. We're gonna talk about our basement problems, which you guys will hear about a little bit today. So 
let's get started y'all i got two screens well charles my boo my brother um derek recommended this screen which i love you guys will see it in a second when i start um and then my boo got it for me for christmas but it's a life saver when i um was working in the office office i had two screens um actually i had three screens and that really helped me get through my doctor too having a bunch of screens so i could have like my research on one my paper on another you know just it just helps you work better i feel like when you have multiple screens but i'm about to turn on the news and plug away with some work emails before um the day gets started and our furniture and all this stuff crazy stuff happens but um what did i want to say oh the tree so the reason why they came sooner than later because it, it's like a six to eight month waiting list but they came within two weeks and it was because we added um our concern about the sidewalk so that got them to be like oh okay like they aren't just doing it for vanity like it's a legit reason so let's do theirs sooner so that helps so if you have that issue definitely try that so nice and bright today i have the lights turned off and all i need is the window so sorry if it's a little dark yeah. they're just kind of they're just kind of hanging out but i can tell that they can't get in because it's like three the tree people have like three or four trucks and they're all blocking the street. And then the waterproofing people have like two or three trucks. Actually, they have two trucks and they're trying to get in. So, but I don't know how they're gonna get into the yard, but they're just kind of sitting on the street. So I wasn't sure if they were calling you to see what they should do, but. No, no, they ain't calling. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna do this. Look at my story, you'll see all the trucks on the street. Okay, I mean, can't they just, I mean, do they have to, is it just, okay. How long are the tree people going to be there for? Okay, it, so seems, I, I it seems like all day they're doing like branch by branch. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess just to, we just got to talk to them and just ask them like, you know, how we can make, how we can make it work. Um, you know. I don't even know if I can go outside. Because they have like even our like entry and all of them. Alright, so the tree people are in. Thank God everyone was like being so nice um, and understanding. So they backed into our driveway. I moved my car. Um, luckily the tree people stopped um, what they were doing. So there's two trucks in our driveway. I moved my truck to the, to the street. Tree people are still working, which is great. But um, just gotta make it work. But this is what flourishing is all about. It's not progress. I mean, it's not perfection. It's about progress. Um, so thank God, thank God everyone's nice. I'm gonna try to get on the phone with our furniture folks and see if we can just cancel them because I can't handle three people and all these shoes in my house. Y'all just pray for me, pray for me. Oh, the tree is gone, the tree is gone. Yay. Oh my God, dang, I didn't have to cancel the furniture delivery. But that's okay, there's a lot going on in the basement, so. But yay, I'm so excited. Looking good. Um, let's go take a peek in the basement. Take a peek, take a peek, take a peek. All right, so they got people doing stuff over here, people doing stuff over here. Hey, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. And then got work going on outside. Just have a lot Good happening. Morning. Yeah, we moved in maybe like in November, so it's been like six weeks, but we were like, this needs to get done. I'm like, they must have just moved in. They got no barbecue. No barbecue, <laughs> barely any furniture. We're supposed to have a furniture delivery today, but I had to reschedule. Too much going on. Too much. Oh, good. So I think um, last semester, you know, obviously we got really, really good at being remote, and I think um, things went very, very smoothly. And All right, it is one o'clock, one o two. I just finished our planning day um, meeting, and I am so hungry. So I'm gonna grab something to eat. You guys can probably hear the drilling downstairs. It is so loud. And imagine being in a meeting where that kept ha happening. So I kept having to put it on mute, and then when I'm talking. You could hear it, but um, things are getting done, so I'm happy. But 
let's go downstairs make a smoothie find something to eat and then i'm gonna come back up and call these students to make sure that they get registered but the day is flying 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 oh i don't know if i updated you guys i can't remember if i said it on instagram if you're not following me on instagram definitely make sure you are it's flourish with dolores but um we canceled the furniture which i'm kind of sad because i was looking forward to getting that but it's gonna come february 12th i mean january 12th there's that sound again it's gonna come january 12th and we'll get it when we get it but it was just too much going on in one day so glad we got that handled and i'm just trying my best to um not go so crazy with all the shoes that are in the house if you guys watch um my household chores video you know i don't really do shoes in the house and you know the, the workers are coming in and out and i'm just letting them do their thing while i'm upstairs hopefully you guys can hear me i'm gonna go downstairs grab a snack and come back up to work with registering or any concerns that you want me to support you with um, I will talk to you soon and I'll follow up with an email so you can give me a, you can follow up in whichever way you prefer I've been trying to focus on work and calling these students but I turned on the news and I have no words. I'm just looking at what's going on in the Capitol and the parallel of how black people are treated in America, still treated in America. You know, there's no consideration for the contributions we make in this country. It's just, there's no consideration for us just being humans, regardless of what we contribute to this country. Like, it's painful. It's painful and it's hard to be expected to continue to focus with work as if this is it happening, you know, to us. So it's definitely painful. I'm gonna see how much more I can do with these calls and then definitely take a break, for sure. Look who's hanging out with me while I finish the work day and we're watching the news, this crazy well, craziness. Yeah. <laughs> Come home, I'm like, what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> Insist upon Look at all the dust that traveled up here. Y'all know I'm freaking out inside, right? <laughs> if I knew it was gonna come up here, like even, well this is probably my little feet tracking everything up, but. Listen, this is how I heard your girl probably was underneath the covers by this, she probably was like, I really was. I was like, Dolores, just stay calm, stay calm. It's just, it's just temporary, but I'm gonna show you guys what it's looking like. But they had like a tarp all here, but still the couch got dusty. Um, Charles Laker's rug. But you know what? The job is done and I could clean real good. And we'll be done with this flooding issue, which check out my next video. I will share what went down, but um basically and you'll see in the pictures that i'll pop in but all of this is nice and sealed and it is done but this is our basement for those of you who had the house saw the house tour the empty house tour we didn't show our basement because you know it's really not much to much to see here but 
we moved everything to the center so they can work on this but I just feel so relieved even though we have a lot of cleaning to do I just feel so relieved that it is finito baby 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 all right y'all I'm gonna do a little unboxing um I know the last time you couldn't see me so I'll make sure you can see me but um this came in the mail um, so I finished my work day, did all the calls. It was really hard to focus, to be honest, with the, everything that's going on in the Capitol. But Boo was there, so Charles came towards the end. And that was done. I'm just so happy this basement is done. All right, so we got a doorbell, believe it or not. Um, the former owners took the doorbell that we that was at the house so we got the doorbell we got a really simple one one where you don't have to do like electrical stuff you can just um, kind of basically put it and then basically these are the speakers and so then the speakers will ring inside the house so it's kind of like Bluetooth but um, I'll link it below if anybody's interested and then the other box that we got is from my bestie my college bestie Jessica Looky here, looky here. Um, so I already opened this, but I just want to show you guys. Um, it was this really nice note congratulating us. And she gave us um, affirmation cards, which I love. You can move mountains. Um, tough roads often lead to destinations, um, to beautiful destinations. And you can move mountains. So then, got us a super, super cute cup set love it super classy super me slash us um so yeah i really like it thank you jess thank you jessica so we have a set of four and it is just super cute um and they're basically like stemless wine glasses so love it thank you all right y'all we are about to eat um we ordered i was planning on making salmon tonight but we ordered um, Portuguese food because uh, there's just so much going on. Uh, oh, my hair. Um, so we ordered Portuguese food. Can't see me now. You can see me. Um, so we're about to eat that. i show you guys. I love food. I love food. And then we have so much cleaning to do because I cannot sleep until this house is clean. So I'm not going to film that, but let me know if you do want a um, clean with me type of video definitely be happy to do that because your girl loves to clean always got something to clean um but that is it for this video definitely thumbs up so i know that you want to see more videos like this and make sure you subscribe um if you want to join the flourish fam and continue to see our videos let me know if you like more of these videos of us just chilling day in life work with me um make our house a home with me and um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace hey.